Hello everyone, welcome back. I just for the first time uh, did a grocery Walmart delivery uh, because I had a code that they gave us the last time we did our pickup for a free delivery fee. First impressions, uh, actually let me start off by saying this order was $372.09. I did get a couple of things that I wouldn't normally buy um, that kind of upped the price, but I also didn't get some things that I normally buy, so I guess we're right on, uh, right on a normal price for that. Uh, first impressions, super easy to use. You do it just like Walmart grocery pickup. You order your stuff, you submit the order, you pick your time slot. Um, the one thing I don't love about grocery pickup to begin with is that you obviously have to use all of the plastic bags and with orders this big we get quite a few. I do find ways to recycle and repurpose them, but it can get a little daunting with as many bags as they use. So that is my first complaint, which is fixable, easy. Um, the second would be I cannot use my coupons the way I normally would if I had gone in the store and I was doing, you know, rebates and things like that. Um, sometimes convenience, <laughs> I take those sacrifices. Um, the, I, I wouldn't say it's an issue, but it was a, um, like a grocery delivery, not through Walmart. Um, it was just a woman in her minivan with all of my stuff, which I, again, don't mind that, but it was not what I expected. I thought it was more like a, um, if you have stop and shop Peapod close by, you know, that type of delivery service where they have the truck and the whole nine yards. And it, it really wasn't. All this did was save me the driving to Walmart and checking in. And for me, that takes about 10 minutes. So I don't know that if I didn't have the code, I would do this again because it was only, you know, I think it's $7.95 for the fee. And I don't know for me, the discomfort of having somebody, you know, coming right up to my door. I, I just don't know. I don't know if I'm super comfortable with it yet. I probably will do it on like my midweek order one more time just to see how that goes. It's like a very small order, but this was very uncomfortable for me to have somebody deliver this much. So, and that is my first take on the grocery delivery service at Walmart. I do enjoy the pickup. It's just those couple of things, um, you know, the coupons and the bags that if I were to nitpick and say that I had issues with it, those would be the things. Otherwise, this mama is pretty happy that I don't have to go and spend a couple of hours in the store every two weeks. <laughs> so getting on with the haul itself, like I said, this is $372.09. Um, I did get some one-time things. I did add some things, um, that I may start incorporating, I don't know. So we'll see. Uh, first was the jars. I did not have any jars left and I usually try to keep some on hand just even for storage. Um, you know, when we have leftovers and things or when I make soups, I am trying to teach myself more about canning. So I am um, going to continue to buy these. I don't think I'll ever feel like I have enough, but I'm gonna continue to buy them as long as I can and they fit in the budget. Um, our diapers. I believe this is the box, it's like $17.47, um, I don't even know how many are in here, I don't want to crack the little around, yeah, I can't see, oh, 108 diapers, you can see it right down there, of uh, the size 5 diapers, um, paper plates, because our dishwasher still is not working, and I am doing all of our dishes by hand, and with winter coming up fast, it's hurting me. Uh, <laughs> sandwich bags, I did run out just this morning, so that was perfect. Uh, the Scott toilet paper I found has been the cheapest if I'm not couponing. That is the best deal. Um, these three packs of the wipes, I got two of them. Uh, the bite-sized tortilla chips. I like theirs the best. The chips are a little bit smaller than um, like the Aldi ones and things like that. So I got four bags of these for snacks for the two weeks. Um, they substituted me these. I just wanted the, you know, the dollar Walmart bag of the the broccoli, the kids prefer the fresh broccoli. I just don't always have it on hand, so I figured these are just as good. Uh, this is something I don't know if I'll be buying again. It is Halloween tonight, and we won't be home um, very long after school for dinner. So I figured if I pop these with some tater tots and french fries, they can just have that. What I didn't know was these bags are four pounds, six ounces. They are huge, and I got two of them. So we'll have them probably for lunches over the weekends too. 
um, bag of the crinkle cut fries, five pounds of mozzarella cheese, the uh, four pound block of ch cheddar cheese, uh, I want to say this is five pounds of tater tots, yep. Okay. I got four bags of Granny Smith apples, those are three pounds each. Uh, green onions, I got ginger, there's a couple of recipes I want to make with that and I also put it in my teriyaki sauce that I make. Um, I got four lemons, the kids love their lemon water. Tomatoes, I got, um, I order one pound of the on the vine ones and they always give me single ones. Um, I, I guess they're the same, but I'm just used to them all being like one cluster and I don't know how much that would weigh. So I have to probably go in store to check that out. Uh, these baby Bella mushrooms. I always get a package of these. We don't always go through it in time. I forget about it, so that's bad. I'm gonna get better at that. Um, I got four vanilla yogurts this time. These are the quarts. I still have two in there from the last haul, so we have six total in our fridge now. I got the coconut milk. I love that in smoothies and like chia pudding and overnight oats and stuff like that, so that's what I use there. Um, these are two pound packs of butter and I got four of them so a lot of this will go in the freezer but my baking season is coming up so I always make sure I have plenty of butter. Um, I got a 25 pound bag of flour this time. I know that I'm going to go use uh, like through it faster um, than like the smaller bags. Um, that I usually buy in the summer. I'm very worried about getting like buggy flour. <laughs> so in the winter when I know I'm going to be using it a ton, I will get the bigger bags. Um, I got three gallons of milk. We still have two in the fridge from our midweek haul. Uh, my sour cream, I believe this is three pounds. I got three things of half and half. We got one this morning, so we have four total. I got a gallon of vegetable oil. Um, that's what I use when I fry things. And I'm going to start trying to teach myself more about my cast iron pans so I can start using them more. And they did say to get canola oil to season them with. I don't know how right or wrong that is, but going with it. I'm going to come back over here. A uh, 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. I still have half of one in my cabinet, so I have plenty of potatoes. The kids have been loving this ham. It's $6 for the pack and it's just under a pound, but it's the... Oscar Mayer Natural Applewood Smoked Uncured Ham in the family size. It's less than $6, so I will take it. I did only get 20 bananas this time. The kids are just not going through them, and I have not had time to make banana bread. Um, and I have a freezer full of frozen bananas for smoothies, so I just got 20. Uh, the kids had not gone through the whole four pounds of peanut butter that I got last week, so this will go on the food room shelf. Um, this is going also on the food room shelf. I still have a couple of these. Um, the Indian Head Cornmeal. I make my cornbread and corn muffins out of that. Um, the salsa is my weakness now. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, the Parmesan and Ro uh, Romano grated cheese. The kids have been liking that, so that'll go on the food shelf too. We still have some. I needed apple cider vinegar. This was the best deal I could find. It's 32 ounces, and it was just under $6. So that's the best I have found yet. Um, we did not even open up our coffee yet. We had plenty of our old one uh, that I had got a deal on a while back. So this will go on the food room shelf, and I am just about to dig into my other one that I bought the last haul. Um, this lard, I have never, I don't think I've ever bought lard before. I have a bagel recipe that I'm dying to try, and it called for it, and this was super cheap. I think it was like $1.50, so I didn't mind buying it. I got four boxes of Capri Sun Fruit Punch for the kids to take some days for um, their lunches. I don't give them a juice box every single day in their lunches because we would go through those four boxes in just a few days. So just a couple of times a week they get that little treat. Um, this bread, I make garlic bread out of with our dinners. They're only a buck a piece. They stay fresh and if you freeze them, they thaw out nicely for that. Um, I have not tried to eat them just the way they are once we've frozen them and defrosted them. I do kind of always make that garlic bread out of them. And then for the food room shelf, I got more penne and some elbows. We did not go through all the pasta that I got last time. I just like to be stocked up. A uh, newbie to our crew is this tomato sauce. I have been kind of experimenting with ketchup and barbecue sauce recipes. And I feel like they always call for tomato sauce and I don't keep it. So... <laughs> 
We'll try those crushed tomatoes and tomato puree always on my shelves. Um, I got four cans of black olives, four cans of black beans, and four cans of dark red kidney beans. Those are kind of staples I try to keep on the shelf as much as possible. Um, I just got a garlic powder and a couple of onion powders. I'm running low. I just wanted to make sure I still had enough. And my ranch packets, I got six of them. And then, the, I don't know what I was thinking, if it was early, if I made a mistake, if they did, I don't know. Generally, I get the McCormick um, brown gravy packets. And I thought I ordered six of each, but apparently I ordered seven and they substituted me the Pioneer ones and three of them. So it was a little, I don't know, it was an odd number and it, whatever. I'll take it. I am always open to try new ones, so I don't mind. So that is $372.09. I still have to go to BJ's. And Price Right Near Me is having a great meat sale, so I'm going to go see. I feel like they're hit or miss, so I'm going to go see how comfortable I am with getting those meats. And um, if you want to see a haul of those two stores, I will be happy to do so. Just let me know. And that is it. My bi-weekly grocery haul for 10 people. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, again, my, my first takes on this whole delivery service it only saved me the time to go to the store and check in which for me doesn't take more than 10 minutes so I don't know if I'll use it again but it was convenient this time I will leave my link for Walmart grocery pickup referral code down below also the code wow fresh or fresh car wow fresh will get you ten dollars off your first order and fresh car will get you free delivery fee on your first order so maybe you can check it out and let me know what you think i will leave those links down below with the codes and um have a great day thanks for watching guys bye bye